Good afternoon, everybody. My, I'm here with Candace, our president. There she is. Hi, everyone. I'm going to hold this up as far as I can so you can see her. Today, this video is on a gentleman by the name of Sean, S-E-A-N, Paul Swain, um, number 201-5638. The state of Ohio transferred him to a uh, Virginia prison when he is still doing Ohio time. He's never gotten in trouble in Virginia. The state of Ohio transferred him more or less because they wanted to shut him up for some things that occurred. And I'm not going to mention names until an investigation is done, though. Um, some of his complaints were starvation. They starved him. He lost 50 pounds due to that. Uh, he was not permitted to contact outside family members or attorneys or anyone. Uh, he was, they domestically tortured him. I think I pronounced it right. Uh, and they were plotting to kill him. The state of Ohio was plotting to kill him and they promised him it would make it look like a suicide. You know, and then um, a guy with the ODRC um grabbed his uh, private area and told him if he would do sexual favors to him, um, all everything would go away. And, of course, he was a, a lawyer, so he probably had a lot of pull to really sway um, anybody to do, do away. And I knew this attorney for many years. Um, and I knew him to be unfair, Um you know, even towards me, when I got out, when I met with uh, uh, different prison officials, he always had to get his self involved. Candace, you listened to the video. What did you think? It was very heartbreaking for me. I was literally almost in tears watching it um, just to hear about the situation and what he went through. Um, I mean, we can share that video um, again. I think that more people need to be aware of what has happened to this man. Um, you know, he suffered um, for almost a year, they said that he was going through this. And then ultimately they ended up moving him to another state um, because the prison um, started to get scared uh, because outside people started to know what was going on. Right. Um, and and if, somebody, if anybody wants to look at his video, it's under our videos. Sean, S-E-A-N, Swain, S-W-A-I-N. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Change Starts With Us Ohio. Today we already had five more subscribers, so we, we just reached over 200 people now. Um, uh, Candace, can, uh, what did uh, what um, stuck in your mind the most from that video? Um, about sexual abuse that was going on. That is somebody that is supposed to, um, you know, uphold the law. And, you know, he put another human being in a predicament, another man. And what drives me insane, I know that allegations get tossed around in today's society um, all the time, um, you know, with wrongful convictions and everything. But for an for a man, a male, to be incarcerated and for them to make up such an allegation – um, that right there is just, you know, for me, I just feel like, um, a, a man wouldn't do that necessarily on a daily basis, um, especially being in prison and to say something like that, um, that kind of puts a target on his back, especially bringing that story out to the open to people. Um, so I, I, I truly believe that this is true, that this has happened to him. Yeah, right. Um, and, and it just, yeah. We are asking the ODRC to launch an investigation and suspend anyone that could be part of this um, until the investigation is over. Um, the attorney, in, yeah, the head attorney is no longer with them. Um, I think he still works for the state someplace, um, but I'm not sure where, but I'm not going to mention his name until um, it's okay to do so. And we're asking then, after the invas investigation, to terminate these individuals. Right. And, and the people that threatened that, to kill him, 
and um, make it look like a suicide. And those that starved him. And those that. Yeah, that's yeah. so scary thinking um, that these kind of things is going on inside of our own institutions. But we've so. heard some of similar stuff in other institutions. Yes, definitely. And Lebanon is horrible to our people. Um, that place needs to be shut down, and every single one of those people in there. Right. Um, needs to be held accountable for what. Yeah, they're, doing yeah they're, going, they're going on repeating people's cases, what they're convicted of. Um, they're showing people paperwork on what they're convicted of. They had harassed the individual that the charge or conviction was on, um, guilty or not. Um, they, the staff um, really goes out of their way to do such things. And I think I'm going to share this uh, um, video with the warden of Lebanon as well. Um, he needs to straighten up his act, you know, and and he really has no bit, bit business to be a warden because he has not handled this case very well by no means. Right. You know, and, it's and, very and sad. yeah, and we will and speak the truth. There's probably a lot more institutions going on, like these, these kind of things going on, and we're not been made aware of. Yeah, Chillicothe, um, uh, Madison. Belmont, Noble, Richland, they just got a new uh, warden, so it's hard to tell there. Um, Lucasville is pretty bad. And who would want to be a warden at Lucasville and watch people being put to death? The former assistant director had no problem with it. And now he's over a different area. I could not, I, you know, I, I remember when I was at Luke, my cell was right above the where they did the executions. And the day they, the, when it came to 11.59 p.m., we knew someone was going to be killed a minute later. Back then it was midnight. So, and the visitors showed up and packed the place because they wanted to watch a human being put to death and killed. That's what I call sad. We had a nice phone conference today with the state senator who's going to check into this um, and get yeah, the information. I think the call went very well. Right. Um, Herschel, I mean, I'm not going to say his name. Um, you know, he's going to give us all the time in the world, and he does. He's fair. I've been trying to reach Erica Crowley, my state rep. She's not interested in even discussing anything with me. Um, people like that don't need to sit in office. You know, um, when we come out of prison, we get the right to vote. And we should have the right to meet with our legislators or other legislators when it comes to a serious issue. Right. So I could, you know, it's, Kenny Yuko has always been very supportive. He's the minority leader in the Senate. You know, he, he always takes time. He would take up to an hour to meet with us. And he's, he, he um, is retiring, but people like that need to stay in office because uh, he's a Democratic se state senator, but he's done a heck of a job. Now we need more people like that. Yes, we, yes, we do. And it's, people need to quit voting the party and look at what has that person done? What will he do? Um, Um, so we have a, a lot of good things that that could happen if we just get the support. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna target the the state house once this COVID nineteen is over. And Candace, I want you and I to go up to the yard at the state house one day and do a, a video from there. Um, and then of course go for the coffee shop across the street. Um, I know all the people in that coffee shop. So, but don't ever buy coffee or food from the inside. It's awful. Believe me, I know. You know, but um, we're asking for s support. Uh, this guy's name is Sean, S-E-A-N, Paul, P-A-U-L, Swain, S-W-A-I-N, number 201-56, 
three eight. Um, he's a Ohio prisoner that I sent to Virginia. Just shut him up, but he still sees the Ohio Pro Board. He's been down. He did thirty years in Ohio and two years so far in Virginia, and he should have been pro a long time ago. He was not sentenced to death. But the pro board is giving these people death sentences, basically. Yeah, so, all the clubs are thinking these people are swearable. Right. So if you would like this guy's address, if you're an attorney and you would like to help or help somebody that is wrongfully convicted, or if you're an investigator that would like to help, please call us. Candace, what is the business phone again? You don't know it? Bit, okay, I know it's 601. Yeah, I, I'll look it up. Um, uh, it's I know it's 61507. Um, uh, let's see. See, a, a good president would know this. Okay, our business phone number is 614-507-4593. Again, that is 614-507-4593. And Candace has a phone um, for that. Um, and don't try to memorize it, Candace, because you won't. Um, I saw you thinking there for a minute. Um, I have the first three numbers at least memorized, 507. So I'm, fur I'm further than you on this. Um, if, you, yeah, um, if you're interested in, in a, a group shirt, contact Candace. I don't know what the status on that. Um, I think, Candace, if we could find a company that can do it for like, uh, you know, do it reasonably, I think we need to go with the company. Right. But we, but they yeah, won't sell. Uh, yeah, they won't sell it unless if it's at least twenty, at least the ones I know, and um, that would be a good fundraiser for our group. Okay, everybody. Oh, Okay, um, we're going short right now, but thank you for your help, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Okay.